I'm Katie, and this is Katie Plays Stuff, where I play stuff for you. And today, we're getting to the next part of Conway Disappearance at Dahlia View. All right, you guys, I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. I know I keep saying that, but I am really loving this game, and I cannot wait to see what happens next. Last time, we explored the McKees a little bit. They are definitely sketchy, they are definitely doing some shady shit, but I don't think it's kidnapping Charlotte May. I... I don't really know what's going on over there with the whole pantry situation. If there was like a, an animal or something that they killed in the pantry, why she bleached the house. I'm sure there's all very logical explanations. Um, but we also kind of found out that Annabelle McKee is cheating on her husband, which is really fucked up. And there's a whole lot of drama going on there, but they are not murderers as far as i know <laughs> i don't know whose story we're going to delve into next um we have the landlord mr levy we have the old lady we have annabelle's sister um i'm guessing probably annabelle's sister is next only because she dropped off the key and we learned a little bit more about how annabelle and shirley are in like a fight right now um so i feel like she's gonna be next but we don't know so let's get back into this I've spent the morning watching the McKees, waiting for them to make a mistake, to do something that proves them guilty of killing Charlotte May. But what if I'm wrong? What if I saw what I wanted to and there was nothing in that rug? If I had hard evidence, I would have told Catherine already. I have nothing but suspicions. I should be looking at everyone in Daily View. And Harold Levy is next on my list. Okay. Harold Levy is next. Levy's Garage, three days missing. You guys, we are back in this and I'm so excited. All right, we got Mr. Levy over here. We have some man working under this car. I just want to take a quick look around. Um, nice little missing poster on the tree. Looks like the father is not sitting there anymore. Oh, we can see in the hallway from here, upstairs, into the levee household, or uh, at least into the garage area. Uh, ah, look at that. That's uh, Shirley, right? And who is she sitting with? Some bald guy. Interesting. Wow. Oh, wait. There we got her sitting over there contemplating her existence because she just got caught cheating. Let's take a picture of her. Annabelle, I can't shake what I saw in your pantry. But for now, Harold is my focus. Mm -hmm. I can't shake what I found in here. What did I find in here? I can't even remember. What the hell did I find? I found a mallet in there, didn't I? I knew something was weird. I found a mallet in there. Alrighty. Is there anything I can take a picture of over here? This. Who would want to take you? And why? Well, we are trying to find that out. Flowers are still there. I wouldn't want to read the messages either. Stores open here, right into the house. There's mail just inside the hallway. I can't tell whether it's been opened or not. Might be important. Might be. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Can I take a picture of anything up here? All right. Ooh, keys. It appears Harold keeps his keys on the wall in his kitchen. Good to know. Now, are we going to sneak on over to Mr. Levy's house? I wonder. Theo is working on the automobile. I oh, saw him put that's the rug Theo. Into. I still have my eye on you. Harold is a large man. Large enough to carry a little girl and not slow him down. Very true. Oh, the phone is ringing. Back in a bit, yeah? Don't mess up the paintwork. 
Yeah, right. Answer the phone. Who is it? Looks like he's returning to his flat. Did you get the phone or what? Uh, there appears to be a box of some importance under Harold's bed. Whatever it contains. He's not happy about it. Theo, I need to step out for a moment. You all right watching the shop, yeah? Okay. Is that a shoe? Why on earth is there a shoe on Harold Levy's roof? Wonders never cease. He's got the keys. Where is he going? And why did he have to look in that box first? Evicted already. That was fast. Harold must have forced them out. Oh, Theo went inside. I feel like I'm missing out, guys! I'm, I'm trying to capture everything. Alright, he's leaving. He's got the keys. Oh! Uh, Harold Levy is unlocking Tony Morgan's door. Uh, now he's entering. What the hell? What does he think? What? This does not look like a suit. What the hell is happening? What in God's name is he doing? <gasps> he's attacking Mr. Morgan. Oh my God! I'm gonna witness a murder! What is he saying? Is he like, where's the rent? Give me what you got? Give me the jewels? He just got his daughter kidnapped, and you're gonna beat this man? I should call the police. No. I should gather evidence. He's furious now. Mr. Morgan looks petrified. Did Harold take Charlotte May? Did he attack Tony the night she was taken? I mean... What in the hell? He just took the keys, walked right in there. Oh my god, are you okay, sir? I've never seen him like this. Jesus! Oh my goodness. You okay, boss? Yeah, yeah. You sure? I said I'm fine. Ah. Okay. I have to do something. What are you I gonna doubt do? Harold will welcome me in the way the McKees did, but if he can enter another man's home unannounced, well then so can I. Oh my god, Super Spy Conway about to happen. We're about to tuck and roll into that building! Oh my goodness. That was wild. The fact that he just let himself right into his apartment and then just... Like, why did he bring him upstairs? I, I don't know. That was weird. Harold Levy is leaving his flat. My patience has paid off. Okay. Let's see. Uh, back to Annabelle. 
Annabelle keeps a spotless home. I wonder if she was this tidy before whatever happened in their pantry. The untoward note, I don't know what untoward note is, but anyway, in Annabelle's music box did not seem to be from her husband. I suspect an affair. Annabelle has expensive taste. If Theo is paying for all, for it all, then it begs the question, how are they getting the money? Shirley loves Annabelle enough to have a custom engraved music box made for her. Annabelle was forcing Theo to use the mallet in the pantry. It's clear to me that she's in charge of their relationship. So some of those I read already, or some I didn't. Um, I, this is, is kind of crazy, guys. All right. Let's see what we got over here. Aw, how cute. Very cute. Got another mug here. Film reels, we've decided nothing happens when I click on anything. little board. Our evidence. Oops. Alright. Off we go. Alright. I don't know if I should just go to the door. Should I look around? Ah. Oh wait! This is the bedroom. Thought I went the wrong way. British intelligence saves the day. Rent receipt, which I picked up last time. More film reels. Developing film in the 20th century. I miss you, old friends. Anything new going on in the bathroom? No. It all kind of looks the same. Alrighty. Just gotta make sure, gotta be thorough. Let's check this table again. Or just completely miss the table. Nope, can't click on that. The new over here. Alrighty. Let's hit the town. Now how the hell are we gonna get into Harold Levy's house? Absolutely no idea. Well, the place seems empty enough. Now to find a way into Levy's garage. How are we gonna do it? Charlotte May's home. She's counting on me. I won't let you down. I hope we actually find her alive. That would be terrible. Mr. Morgan has enough on his mind. Alright, I'm guessing we gotta go down like this little pathway in between the buildings. But I'm just gonna go this way quickly. Yeah, there's not not too much I can actually click on out here. Nothing to click on here, so I guess we are just going in between. Oh, the window. Ah, look at that. How did I reach all the way in there? Alright, go, 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 go! Ah! <laughs> hold on, hold on, we're going. There we go, close it, close it! <laughs> Should I close it? There we go. Alright. 
Alrighty. Once again, I hate moving in this game, it's so hard. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything up here. We got a nice sink. Good water pressure. Nothing else. This game is a fan of giving me a bunch of sinks with no reason. What is that smell? Damp, I think. Damp, huh? Can we open up the trunk? Ooh. Nope, nothing to click on in the car. Nothing at all. The license plate says Mar 0806. March 0806? Let's try to remember that number. Toys. Why does Harold Levy have them? Hmm. Why would he have toys? Ball. That's all I can click on there. We got 100% pure motor oil. And nothing else. Okay. We're in. Or we're in the reception area. <laughs> oh, there was mail here when I looked from my window this morning. Gone now. Hello, is anybody working? Mr. Levy? What would he have said if he said hello? Alright, gonna need a key for that. Oops. Is anyone home? Good. Locked from the other side. Why? That's no good. I hate this. <laughs> like, honestly, the only reason why I'm not using a controller is I can't find the cord. Like, um... Okay. So the controller has this at the end of it, and you're supposed to have the one that plugs into this and then is a USB. I, I don't know where it is, so it's frustrating. Alright, let's go in. Thank God he has an elevator. I'm sure this is the hallway to Levy's flat. Gotta be. Let's hope he's still out. <laughs> Whose apartment is this? I gotta find those keys. It would be very useful right about now. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. He clearly doesn't want anyone renting too close to home. Hmm. What is that? Stamp. Interesting. else. Okay. That's it. It's just a claustrophobic hallway. Okay. Let us go this way. Nothing. Well, this is frustrating. What the hell do I do now? If I can't get in, can I knock on the door? Hmm. I don't have anything in my inventory right now, even though I picked up that stamp, but I guess that really wasn't necessary. What is this? Can. 
Bracing motor oil. Plant motor oil. <gasps> ha! There we go. It's probably not a good idea to have that so close to your front door, but okay. We going in. There's music playing, so is he home? I'm scared. He would eat corned beef from a can. I'm pretty sure that's the only way. Corned beef. My brother loves corned beef. A lot in common with Mr. Levy. We got here. Eviction notice. T. Morgan. So he is evicting him. Harold Levy has a lady friend. Does he? Note from Harold's lady friend. Every time you have a meeting with Frank, you leave me alone up here for ages. Can you at least get a new radio so that I have something to do whilst I wait? Better still, could you spend a little more time we, <laughs> we have with me? What are you doing with him anyway? What was in the van the other night? You're far too secretive, you know. Girls like me need a good pampering. Every now and again, I think you should buy me something expensive to say sorry. If I find out that Annabelle and Harold Levy are together, I'm going to fucking puke. <laughs> I will literally puke. But also, why is he evicting a guy who just got his daughter stolen? That's evil. Harold Levy owns many properties in Dahlia View and is willing to use his power against people. Harold appears to be courting a younger lady. That must be the key, who the key was left for. Interesting. This is where I watched Harold from my window. I hope none of my neighbors are watching me. Sketch. All right. here? No. Alright, let's go into this door. Someone's showering. I'd better be quiet. Oh my god, why would we come in here when there's somebody home? No. Harold is doing it with Annabelle. Guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna puke. Why isn't he saying anything? Lipstick. Oh my god. Cigarettes. Money. Blood. Might be important. You never know. Is that blood? Interesting. Note. I've had to leave early. A shipment of parts has come in from down near Pinwheel, and I have to be there to load it in. Sorry about last night. I know I can lose my temper. It's not your fault. Stay for a while if you like. Just don't touch the radio. It's stuck on that channel. Keys are in the usual place. Don't let anyone see you. Harold. P.S. If you see me and Frank about, just keep your distance and leave us to it. So this is a note he left for the girl. Coat hanger. It can't be Annabelle. It can't be. Can it? We'll throw up. He must have moved the box somewhere else. Box is gone. Yeah, let's just make ourselves known right on the balcony. Can we see over to Annabelle's house? Is she home? Harold 
would have had a good view of Charlotte May playing in the courtyard from this balcony. If my baby cares for me, feel in blue. Is Theo out here? Is he singing out here? Or is she singing that? Oh, that's what she's singing. She's singing Theo's song. What a dirty tramp. Alright, let's get out of here. What a dirty, dirty... Ugh. Disgusting. Her... Oh my god. Guys. Her earring is right there on the fucking... <laughs> back it up, back it up. Her earring is right there. It is Annabelle. Not that I didn't already know, but... It's, it's quite obvious. That's wild. Alright, that doesn't work. Where am I gonna find another key? Can't go this way. Oh, that's the way out. What am I missing? Another key somewhere? Investigate the box under Harold Levy's bed. Didn't didn't he say it's not there? I thought he said he must have moved it. Alright. Where's the box then? It's not even there. It literally says he moved it. So how I'm confused. Where the hell is it then? So confused. The box I saw under the bed has been moved somewhere else. Okay, it's been moved somewhere else. So then is it out here? It's gotta be in this room. Here. That's that's it. That's it. The box I saw from my window. So how we gonna get it? That didn't help me at all. Wait a Might second. Be valuable evidence. I have a coat hanger. Let's see if I remember how to do this. I'm sorry, what am I doing exactly? The hell? I have no idea what's happening. What am I doing? Why isn't there a tutorial? What in the world is happening? Oh, it's a maze! <laughs> okay. Weird. Uh, I feel like I'm missing some of it. you're supposed to hold buttons as okay so now hold T now I keep going Guys, I can't hold all these buttons at the same time. This is really hard. 
still got it. That was stupid. <laughs> I didn't like that. You had to hold all three buttons at the same time. Not my thing. Didn't like it. <laughs> all right, give me that box. Finally, time to take a look inside. Take the paper clip. Hmm. Might as well. Might make a good lock pick. You're a good man, Levy. You got me out of a jam. I remember these things. I'll be back for the stuff soon. I'll be in touch, Frank. Drugs or what? I'm curious to see what was left in his office. I know what you've been doing. Saturday. In black top taxi, blue road car removed. Thursday brown van, van with wood panel. Green motorcycle with sidecar and silver exhaust. You're a liar and a thief. Did you take Charlotte May too? You can destroy this if you like. I made copies. P.S. There's something in your office if you don't believe me. Oh my god, what is going on? Rent due per fortnight. Theodore and Annabelle McKee, zero dollars until further notice. Is she selling her body? Beverly Ridge, four dollars. Or uh, pounds, or whatever. Robert Conway, four. First strike for late rent. Anthony Morgan, five. Simon Deering, four. L.B. Jeffries, three. Sebastian A. Paul, four. Alright, can should I put this cover back on or okay, let's just leave it open. I don't know why it's showing me this area. Okay. Oh, you can just kinda look at all the different shelves. Interesting, interesting. Alright, well I guess that's it. I don't see anything else. Now then. Let's see what's been left in Levy's office. It okay. must have something to do with him attacking Mr. Morgan. Um, I guess that would be downstairs. We'll go back down there, and hopefully we can lockpick it. I don't know, guys. I don't know what he's up to. Oh, he said locked from the other side, right? So... In here. Oh! <sighs> At least I know what I'm doing this time. At least. We did it, guys! First try. There's Levy's office. It looks like he's still out of the building. Okay. I just turned around and went back. <laughs> there we got... That smell again. The damp is even stronger in here. Damp smell? Over here. 
There's Harold Levy's office. Yeah, yeah, I can read. More motor oil. That is it. I suppose I'll look elsewhere for now. What? Where am I going to find another key? Oh, here's another window. Can I reach anything? It's not having me click on anything. Nothing. Oh, there's a whole space in here. All right, let's check this out. Come on, give me a key, baby. Is this open? There's a door I can unlock right here. Uh oh. <gasps> oh my god. Get me the fuck out. Get me out. Hello? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm on here. He's coming in. No, no, no. I'll. I'll sort it out. No, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. No, no, oh, all right, fine. Bollocks. <gasps> He's left the office door open. But now I'm stuck in here. Oh, my God. God, how does he not see me? <gasps> it's Annabelle. He just keeps a picture of her right here. Hmm. I wouldn't trust you as far as I could throw you. That's wild. Four, five, two, six. What's this then? Huh. Work list. This is definitely the car that Theo dumped the rug into. Charlotte, please don't be inside. Car. Oh, he put the rug in a car. Placement car battery. We did our best, but the car looks like it could do with a repaint. We can offer a range of Must colors. Must have been in a bad way. There's a battery left in the car boot. Hmm. It's just radio stations. Maybe this will be important later. to use my inventory here, so obviously I need something for up there. What is this thing? Now what do we have here? hell is this? Why do I want to start this? Ah. Okay. 
isn't this going to get him to come in here? What? These all seem to be powered from here. So the fuse for the shutters is blown in the basement. The shutters aren't know. working. Check the basement. The fuse seems to be flying up. I must be doing something right. Okay, good, because that scared the shit out of me. Uh, I dropped the car down, baby. Look at me. I don't even know what I did, but okay. Alrighty. Look at me. I could work in a fucking garage, working on cars and shit. Alright, let's check the boot of the car, eh? I don't... That's not gonna fuck. <sighs> now where am I gonna get a car key? Where am I gonna get a car key? What do you have to say that's so important? Get into Harold Levy's office, find a way to restore the power to the shutters. Alright. Now, where am I gonna find... Actually, maybe I'm supposed to go back to that thing and restore the power to the shutters. Because I put the car down, but maybe there's something else I'm supposed to do over here. Wait. Huh. Jump lead. Could be useful. Possibly. Okay. What do I what do I do with this? I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this, to be honest. Dude, I'm trying to record. I'm trying to record right now. I'm trying to figure out how the hell to get through this part. In my computer, sounds like it's about to blow up. And my neighbor's doing some crazy shit upstairs. Alright, you guys. <laughs> Today is a different day. I know I look completely different because this is actually the next day after I recorded that part. Um, for some reason, when I was in the middle of recording, I had to literally stop out of nowhere because my computer sounded like it was going to blow up. Like, it it was terrible. I, I don't know if it sounded like that the whole recording, but I went back and I went over the footage and I think I edited it out, so hopefully the video you're watching sounds okay. Um, so yesterday, I went through my entire computer opened it up, dusted the shit out of it, cleaned the shit out of it, and now it- I can't even hear it. It's like, it's just silence in this room. And I forgot, I have not cleaned that thing in a couple years, probably. <laughs> so, um, yeah, my computer was ready to explode. So, now we are here on a different day, uh, looking at this with a fresh set of eyes, because- <laughs> because I wasn't able to finish that recording. So, um, let's get let's get back into this. So, from what we remember, uh, in our inventory, we have this clamp thingy and uh, this key. Um, what does it even say? It doesn't say what kind of key it is. I don't remember what it was. Um, but I couldn't figure out the clamp thing. We are trying to get into the trunk of this car. Trying to get into this fucking thing. And I have this key, but it doesn't fit. Um, so I, I don't know where the key is. I have literally no fucking idea. I've looked at this table. Uh... 
We got the radio, bottles, this thing. Am I stupid? How long has this been sitting here? This is too convenient. I feel like I'm being set up. <laughs> because I was over here. I went through all of this and I didn't fucking see that key. I bet you guys were screaming at me. Or maybe nobody saw it. Maybe it hasn't been here. I give up. I don't care. Don't care. Let's open up the trunk, baby. <laughs> I don't know. I have... That was mysterious. All right, let's see. Shot. please don't be in there. There's literally nothing interesting in here. I thought he said this was the car that they put the rug into. New car battery. This might come in handy. Okay, so that's probably why this thing over here doesn't work is because the battery's dead or something. At least we're making progress. And my computer is sounding incredible right now. I'm so happy. This is not what I'm looking forward to. Let's see, over here. All right. Um, let's get this car battery and put it in the box. And, and maybe this thing? Oh! Oh, it's connected! Okay, and we're gonna put it on the shutter thing. Nope, not the shutter thing. We're gonna put it on the- th this- nope, not that either. Wait, put you there. We're gonna put- <laughs> We're gonna put this, uh, here. Here. Nope, not here. Here. Nope. Here? Here. Right. Which turned on this? Look at us, finally getting somewhere. So now we can go to that basement. What does this note say? I forget. If the shutters aren't working, check the basement. So the fuse seems to be playing up. So we need to go down into the basement. Yeah. How convenient. <laughs> so we don't have to use the stairs. I was really looking forward to Conway crawling down those steps, but all right. Um, how do I even get over to the stairs? This way. There we go. Back it up. I just imagine what if fucking Mr. Levy comes in here and like, he's like, why is this on? Turns it off and then we're stuck down here and can't get out and then we starve and die. Very flooded. Why is it so flooded? Explains the damp smell. The water's far too deep to wade through. Oops, I didn't mean to go through the door. Alright, what is this what does this say? Levy's basement is flooded. Could Charlotte maybe down here? No. Harold has left his office door open. I have a code that could be useful. What does this say? Anything new? Harold Levy attacked Tony Morgan earlier today. The threatening note proves Harold was willing to hurt him. Harold works for someone called Frank and seems to be on edge around him. Theo? Harold doesn't pay Theo much money, but also doesn't charge him rent. How is Theo making his money? Theo has repaired the car that I saw him put the rolled up rug into. Okay. Um, let's just look over here on the shelves. See if we got anything interesting. Dudley's more motor oil. Um, nothing here. More motor oil. I don't. I just feel like they're giving us a lot of things to click on for no reason. It's a waste of my time. too dark over here. I can't see. Oops. Fuse. Oops. Let's take it. Of 
cool. And another fuse. And a wiper blade. <gasps> uh. Uh. What does it say? Riverport Police something. Oh my god, we're down. We're down here under the stairs and he's backing a fucking truck into here. He's right up there. I'm going to need to hurry. Okay, okay. Alright. Um. Should I put my- Fuse is blown. Fuse is blown. Take the blown fuse. And let's put a new fuse in there. Okay. Right. Time to open those shutters and get back to the office. Okay. Uh, Levy's basement's flooded. Is there anything new? Let's see. There's a large basement space in Levy's garage, the perfect place to hide a body. Alright, we gotta get the shutters open. Which is upstairs, isn't it? So that means I have to go back up. See if there's anything I need now. Another fuse. Why are there so many fuses I can take? Do I need all of them? Interesting. So do we just go right back up? <laughs> Mr. Levy. Hello. Why are you talking? Just be quiet. Okay. Shutter. Shutter's this one. Good. Alright. Now to get back to the office. I am so scared. If I get caught, I'm fucking screwed. There's a literal truck out here, and you're expecting me to just go out there. Yeah, I guess so. This is a delivery van. Yeah, where's Shirley the delivery Downs guy? Shirley warned me about Harold's late night deliveries. Should we open it? Can we? No, it won't let me open it. So I guess I just gotta go to the office, which is not that, I don't remember. Yeah, Levy's office. The threat in the box said there was something in this office. Something in the Perhaps office. Perhaps something for my evidence board. Boy car. Hmm. Okay. Statue. Not that button. RP Motor Group Awards to William Levy for excellence in customer care. Excellence, huh? Just log. I am so sick of pressing the wrong buttons. I want a controller. <laughs> Stock book. All right. Some more cigarettes. Bits and bobs. Bits and bobs. Nothing of interest. Hmm. Handy. Wire cutters. Nothing else here. Let's check the desk. That's a cliche. <laughs> what do we got? Poker night every Tuesday. Police are gonna search sort it. Search sort it. Um, ration card. The car that Theo was working on. 
Frank calling, jacking oil prices. Puka night. I've seen these dates before. Please search. Sort it. I have no idea what that is. Food, nothing interesting. Must be the phone call I overheard. Jacking oil prices. Must be hurting business. Hmm. Old files, perhaps. But nothing... Huh? What's this? What is this? Shame on you, sir. Mr. Levy, I say this with great concern and disdain. You have run this garage into the ground. If William were still alive to see what you've done with the place, he would see you reprimanded without hesitation. The work carried out on my vehicle was second-rate at best. All you have to do is take one look at that chap under your employ, and you have some notion of how badly it's all gone wrong. I'm afraid I can no longer be a customer of such a shoddy and disreputable workshop. Shame on you, sir. You didn't take a They're picture of that. They're both as bad as each other. Okay. Wire. <sighs> Can't open this by hand. Could be useful. What's in here? Uh, oh, here we go. <laughs> what do we got? Not what I was expecting. Liar. I'm sure Harold knows why this is so damning. Did Tony Morgan take this? Is that why Harold attacked him? Maybe. Gasoline. Gastroline. Petrol. Okay. And like Conway, he does not close anything. It's fine. Um, so... I don't know why I have all these fuses, though. Side. All right. <laughs> I'm not going to keep saying how convenient this is. I'm just going to let it go. Harold's basement is far more vast than I thought. Hmm. Charlotte, you're down there. Are we ever going to find Charlotte, I want to know. Like, are we actually going to find her? Probably need this, right? Yeah, back to this bullshit. Let's see where the thing is. Hello? There it is. Uh, okay, not right there, right here. so far away from G. Okay. Oop. Damn it. I lost it. Hold on. I gotta get it right in the right spot. So I can move. Oh. Okay. Not that way. Guys, this is really hard to hold the damn buttons. <laughs> like, I'm- I'm literally- I have to hold both of those other buttons down. And then M is in like, the weirdest fucking spot. It's like playing Twister. There we go. <laughs> That's obnoxious. 
All right, we are in somewhere else. <clears throat> There we go. Ah, all right. What are those numbers? Four, five, two, six. Four, five, two, six. Is that not it? <laughs> really? You're not gonna pop open? I thought. Four, five, two, six. Four. It didn't work? What? <laughs> Wait, there's another dial over here. What the hell is this dial over here? I can't see that. Dio McKee. Oh, it's his! It's not Harold's code, it's Theo's code. Um, there we go. My darling wife, happy birthday. Oh, poor Theo. Can we open up the present, though? That's it? I want to open it. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. John, Sarge is assigning me to the crow's nest to help with the searches, so you're going to be on your own in here getting this pump working. Watch out for Mr. Levy. He's been snooping around a little too closely for my liking. I'm still not entirely convinced that the basement flooding was accidental, if you know what I mean. Oh, and if by any chance my father comes over there while you're there, could you kindly turn him away and not tell the others about it? Thanks. Catherine! Now there's more to the basement than meets the eye. Huh. Charlotte May. Um, gotta put some fuel in there. The pump is set to clear the basement of water. Oh, this hose needs connecting. Pop it on. Okay, well, I can't do that, apparently. Seems to go down to the basement. Um, so it needs to be connected, but it won't let me do that. How would I be able to connect it? Hmm, let's go out here. I must be missing something. Hmm, what's this? I wonder if I can knock it down. <laughs> Come on. We're getting somewhere. Oh. Are we covered in like oil? Well, I'm too close to stop now. Ah, we got another code. 204, but we can't read the rest. Interesting. Now we can go back out. But I want to go back in. Um, 204, but the last digit is missing, so, like, can I just, like, guess it, or do I actually have to figure it out? Two, uh, four. There we go. What do we got? A clasp! Oh, what's this? Exactly what I needed. 
is this book? Hydroforce, Siphon 2 Water Pump. Alright, nothing else special. Let's pump some water, eh? We go. It's working. And quickly, too. Damn if it's not loud. Charlotte, if you're down there, I will find you. Now, I gotta get back to the basement. And what is the quickest way to the basement? Out this door. Out this door in... And here? Yeah, and then through the shutters. In here. On to here. And off we go to the basement. This is a lot of leg work. Or wheel work. worked. Why on earth would Harold have flooded this? Do we think that Harold did it on purpose? Charlotte May. He did do it on purpose, and that's why he had the clamp in his locker. Because he took the clamp off and let it flood. Huh. If we find a bloated corpse of Charlotte May down here... Charlotte, are you down there? Cigarettes. He's smuggling cigarettes or he's selling cigarettes? Is that it? What on earth is all this? He's got a cigarette business? Unless he's smuggling drugs inside the cigarettes. Charlotte, can you hear me? This is scary down here. It's about to become a horror game. What in the hell? Yeah, it's heavy. Please, let what? Me wrong. Please What's don't about to come up? It's her. Uh, it has to be. I'm too late. Guys, I'm scared. What? Chemicals? Marson's Motor Group? Chemicals? I... I, I don't understand. Why... I don't know. For engine lubrication, what? Did Harold Levy drug Charlotte May? There was a rag found at the crime scene. Is this what was on it? Maybe. There's no way he would flood his own basement unless he was scared of the police searching it. I need my evidence board. This is far too damning to ignore. Do I gotta crawl my way out of this damn basement? Can't you just, like, get me back to the house? Or is there gonna be another, like, quick time event where I have to lock the door quickly before, you know, they come? Alright, good. Good. I didn't want to have to do that. Just kidding. Here we are. This is the way out. Try not to get caught. So, you're gonna tell me what you're doing in my garage? Or am I gonna have to evict you too? Ah, uh, uh, Mr. Levy, I, uh, well, I, I was just about to- Save it. What were you doing in there? Did you find what you were looking for, did you? Actually, I was looking for you. 
As soon as I realized you were at home, I came straight out to find you. You can rest assured. What is it you want, Mr. Conway? Well, I wanted to talk with you about Charlotte May's disappearance. Really? If you're not too troubled to help. I'm Why scared. the hell would I waste my time talking to you? Will you answer some of my questions or not? So it's an interrogation, then? It's me asking you to help Tony Morgan find his missing daughter. Surely you want to help. Fine. I'll hear you. What do you want? A statement is all. Where you were the night that Charlotte May was taken. What you were doing with whom you spoke. That kind of thing. A statement, you say? Where do you want me to begin? Tell me, if you would, what you did between 10 p.m. and 11 p.m. just before Charlotte May was taken. Well... I was fucking Annabelle. I was in my flat for most of the night. Doing the Except deed. about 10 o'clock. I went across to the courtyard and locked up the front gate. You know, to keep the wrong kind of person out. Sometime after that, I heard a noise. It sounded like something strange. But I didn't know what. I guess we all know now, but I didn't think much of it at the time. Hmm. So we locked up. Wrong kind of person. Noise. I get What's the noise? Uh, you're sure you heard a noise at 10 p.m.? No later. Little later, maybe. I was up in my flat by then. How much later? Couldn't say. And what do you think the noise was? Well, we know what it was, Mr. Conway. A little girl screaming. You actually heard her scream? Maybe. Why? Are you trying to catch me out? I'm trying to understand what you're telling me. I myself did not hear her. And neither did the McGee's. What's your point? Well... Either you heard her and did nothing, or you're mistaken. Well, maybe I'm thinking of something else then. Hmm. Uh, you were saying? Anyway, after about ten or something, I went up to my flat and... I thought he was already uh, in the flat. Made a cup of tea and a sandwich. Corned beef and onion, if I remember. At about ten fifteen, I ate it. I hope this is the kind of information you were looking for. He didn't eat it. It's in his kitchen. I was alone all night, so didn't do anything riveting, I'm sorry to say. I know he didn't eat it because I picked up a, a can of corned beef and an onion. And they weren't eaten. I want to say that, but then like how, <laughs> like what's the point? I want to be like, you didn't eat that corned beef. Uh, let's see, alone? You were alone all night. So no one can back up your story? No, I guess not. Do you ever have guests, Mr. Levy? No, not really. Never. Where are you going with this? Well, there's a key on the plant pot outside your door. You must have put it there for someone. And how did you find that out? Uh, well, you can see it from the outside. It's plain as day. I said I was alone that night. You don't believe me? I'm... Merely trying to make sense of it all. Seems simple enough to me, Mr. Conway. Shall I continue? Or was there more? Please. Anyway, around about 10.30, I was sat upstairs listening to my radio show. Sat upstairs? Kings in the Nile. Well, I had no idea what was going on outside, right under everyone's noses. <laughs> Scary, ain't it? How you could be stood right next to someone capable of that. You'd never know until it was too late. Capable of what? Uh. It's disturbing, isn't it? Knowing what happened, and so close to your home at that. Yeah, very disturbing. Well, you don't seem very affected by it. You'll forgive me for saying. Will I? What are you saying? That I did it? 
that I'm capable of doing it because I ain't all broken up on the outside. I think it's strange when people don't act the way that others expect they will. It makes people feel uneasy. Am I making you feel uneasy now? Not really. I think that it would be nice to know where you stand on what happened to Mr. Morgan and Charlotte May. I did time as a young lad. I've seen some stuff that'd make you crawl up into a little ball and stay there. So boo-hoo if some guy got a little knock over the head. It's a shame about that girl. It really is. But I've seen worse. That may be so. But it doesn't excuse the way you act around others. I've seen things too. Horrific things. Like what? Beating up Tony Morgan? Well, as a private investigator... You know what? I want Forget him. I don't care. Shall I carry on now? Please, do. I wish there was more I could sell you. I really do. Must have been about 1040 to 1050. I nodded off for a bit, because... My mind's a little fuzzy on the details. He heard a scream outside and then he just fell asleep. The newspaper said something about the kidnapper having a key or sneaking in undetected. I think it's a load of old bollocks. And in any case, if I ever did see someone sneaking around here, they wouldn't be walking out, I can tell you. No offense. You say you were asleep for a short time around 10.40. That's right. Upstairs? Yeah. I thought I saw someone come with a fan that night. Well, here? Yes. Nah, I don't think so. I'd remember. Hmm. Well, maybe I'm mistaken. Well, there you go. Ah, it was something Shirley said. Was it? Yes. You must have noticed all of the strange deliveries coming and going at night. That's how she phrased it. What's your point? Well, you closed at 5 p.m. What could you possibly have delivered past then? I thought you wanted to know what I was doing that night. Uh, I do. Well, I was asleep upstairs. So Shirley is lying. Shirley's, uh, well... A little highly strung. Let's leave it at that. Hmm. Well, I'll have to talk to her further. Regardless of all that, I'll tell you what I did here that night. The smash. About 11, I'd say. That little girl must have kicked up her right old fuss. What? God knows how we didn't hear. That's when I turned on my floodlight. Looked out my window. I saw Mr. Morgan. Right there, laying in a puddle of his own blood. It's a wonder he didn't bleed out. I must have just missed who did it. I tell you, that blood ain't coming out my clothes any time soon. I thought he said he heard her scream at 10, and now at 11, he hears a smash. You say the blood was on your clothing. That's right. What clothing are you referring to? The shirt I was wearing that night. And why, might I ask, did you have Mr. Morgan's blood on your shirt? Well, who do you think had to clean it up? Sure as hell wasn't you long. Well, I thought the police might have done that. Yeah, well, you fought wrong, didn't you? I'm sorry you had to deal with that. It's my job, Mr. Conway. Your job to clean up blood? Of course it is. As you were. Other than that, I don't know what more I can say. We all get what's coming to us, don't we? Anyhow, what if it was me? What are you going to do about it? Well, first start. <laughs> he just closes it. Maybe I did do it. Oh, no, maybe you did it. You could be wasting time questioning me to cover your own back. True. That would be a funny old turn, wouldn't it? Yes. I have to say, Mr. Levy, 
We've not spoken this much before, and I find you strangely heartless considering the circumstances. I had imagined you'd feel a little more sympathy for your neighbor and his missing daughter. You say you had nothing to do with it, but I can't help but think. Go on. I think you're hiding something. Something to do with Charlotte May. When this is all said and done, Mr. Morgan will know who helped and who stood in the way of my investigation. I hope to God you had nothing to do with it. Listen to me. You think you've got problems now being in that chair. You keep this kind of thing up, and you're going to end up hurt. Or worse. Is that a threat, Mr. Levy? That is. A warning's what it is. Well, consider me warned. It's late, Mr. Conway. Piss off. I just got threatened that he was going to hurt me. Hmm. Yeah, he's a little heartless, but I, I don't think it was him either. <laughs> I wonder if in the end of the game we choose who we think it is and we can get it right or wrong. That would be interesting. During our conversation, Harold Levy was imposing, attempting to intimidate me. It's clear the man does not like me and the feeling is mutual. I'm certain he's up to no good and I suspect it has something to do with Charlotte May. The chemicals I found appear to match the crime scene, no question there. There are, however, some things that still remain unanswered. Alright, well now we know how to actually do this. So let's see. A threatening note in Harold Levy's flat seemed to provoke his attack on Tony Morgan. Is this related to Charlotte May? The note accused Harold of illegal activities, but what evidence here proves it? So, the first question is, can I prove Harold is doing something illegal? Can I disprove Harold was listening to Kings of the Nile at 10.50? Harold said he was listening to Kings of the Nile in his flat at 10.50, whilst Charlotte May was being taken. But can I disprove his alibi? So for some reason, I thought he said 10 o'clock was when he heard the scream. But maybe it wasn't. He said he was alone at 10. He nodded off at 10.50. I, I, I don't remember. Um, okay. What do we got? So, this is the Radio Weekly. Uh, what is 10.50 on here? Swingin' Jimmy's Jazz Club? <laughs> or whatever? What? The Confession Hour? With Percy something something. Where's, uh, what, what did he say he was listening to? Three Kings? No, Kings of the Nile. Or something like that. Or Secret, Secret of Beatles? <laughs> I can't fuck it, this is so hard. <laughs> Let's see. Kings of the Nile, that's it. Transfer to the question board. So, we're gonna put you over here. Oops, let's put you here. Kings of the Nile. Uh, what else? What else? What has to do with the radio? This. We got some blood on the radio. Blue mist. Cigarettes. And then what, what, what was this? Lipstick. Let's do the blood on the radio. I don't know if it's important, but let's just do that. Because where did this blood come from, am I right? Blood. Or, wasn't there a note on here? Ah, that's not an option, never mind. Okay, and then what else? Radio. I have to leave early, a shipment is coming. Sorry about last night, I know I can lose my temper. It's stuck on that channel. What channel is it stuck on? I need to look at every single no. detail Damn there it. is. Damn it. I think these are correct. Maybe not this one. So... Maybe 
maybe... Oh, I can choose these. Good. There we go. As much. Uh, to continue. All right, so we got that one, so we're doing okay. And then can I prove Harold is doing something illegal? Um, yeah, he has this, like, weird picture hidden in, like, a container of something happening here. This delivery truck. Um, I don't have much left. Let's see. I know what you've been doing. Brown van, motorcycle, you're a liar and a thief. I've made copies. I could just do, like, I know what you've been doing. Maybe, I mean, that doesn't prove something illegal, but it's something. And then... Oh, God, it's so small. Okay. Um, vehicle replacement on the house. On the house. Mister, we're very sorry the car was in for longer than expected, but we had to wait on an oil delivery. That eh, doesn't sound illegal. What was this? Local crimes. Da, 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 da. Runner van with eagle bonnet ornament. Ornament. Local crimes listing stolen vehicles. Okay, wait. Brown van. Brown van. Put this here. Oop, not that. Oh my god. Okay, brown van, right, right? And then... What was this? Brown van, in and out. Yeah. So, Harold lied to me about his alibi. There was no way he could have been listening to Kings of the Nile on his broken radio. The stolen cars are worrying indeed, but don't seem to be related to Charlotte May. The chloroform-like chemical I found is my only real lead. He must have hidden those bottles for a reason. Ultimately, this is all conjecture. I can't prove he's taken Charlotte May. Who is it? Who? What time is it? It's dark. Dad? Oh, okay. Why is the door locked? Well, it's night time. Can you let me in, please? I want to talk to you about something. Why was the bolt on? Oh, well, what with everything? One can't be too careful. Mm, fair enough. Uh, what did you want to talk about? I've just come back from having a very interesting conversation with your landlord. Uh, Harold oh. Levy? Really? What do you suppose he wanted to talk to me about? I don't know. Well, actually, Catherine, I, I, <clears throat> I wanted to talk to you about that. So he was telling the truth. You know, he was so close to pressing charges. And it's not my job to talk him out of it. I could have been arresting you right now. Or any one of my colleagues. Whom I can assure you would not be as nice as me about it. Why? He seemed fine after I spoke to him. You trespassed and damaged his property. Damaged. And don't try to talk your way out of it. Well, what do you want me to say? I don't know, to be honest. Why do you think he didn't press charges, hmm? The reason he didn't want the police searching in the first place was because he was hiding what basically amounts to chloroform. The same thing he used to drug Charlotte May. He had a gallon of the stuff. I know. Well, so why don't you arrest him? It's a completely different brand. Well, have you checked his orders? He might have switched recently. I have. Then... Why does he have chloroform in the first place? He uses it to dilute oils. It's a side scam to rip off his customers. You would have known that if you were working on the case, but you're not. Well, well, diluting goods is illegal too, surely. Arrest him for that and 
you can interrogate. And all he'd get is a fine. And that would be the end of it. I'm sorry, but... You're not an investigator anymore, Dad. I know you want to help, but trust me, you're not. In fact, you're making my job that much harder. Catherine. Not really. I was merely trying You to... made me a promise. From now on, I just want you to honor it. I can't. Why not? I promised Tony Morgan that I would help find Charlotte May. Of course you did. Hmm. It's not the McKees and it's not Harold Levy. I know it. It's probably not anybody in this neighborhood, to be honest. It's probably going to be a really shitty ending. It's probably going to be just some, like, random person that we don't know. Thankfully, Harold Levy didn't press charges against me. He probably didn't want the police searching any more than they had to. It confirms my suspicion that Harold is up to no good, but... I can't convince Catherine to investigate further. Am I wasting my time watching my neighbors? The old lady's Mrs. next! Mrs. is old and frail. Is she even capable of such a thing as attacking a man and taking his child? Who knows? I made Mr. Morgan an impossible promise. But if I stop now, it was all for nothing. I'm excited. Hell yeah. I feel like this one's gonna be a good one. Because what could she be hiding? Alright. So, a video that took me two different times to complete. We have finally finished it, and I hope you guys are still enjoying this game as much as I am. I love it. I love investigating. I love figuring it out. It's like, this game isn't hard at all. Um, it's very... it's easy to solve the puzzles. Um, but I, I still think there's, you know, just that little bit of element of like, I don't know what's going to happen next. Like I can, I can figure it out, but I still don't know who it's going to be. And I'm, I'm just excited to find out. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.